How are you? I'm Tony, back with more Practical Drone Pilot Strategies. Today, we're examining the intricate world of drone laws. We're going to discuss the ongoing tug-of-war between federal mandates and state regulations and the confusion that exists pertaining to takeoff and landing spots for drone pilots. On this edition of Drone Pilot Business Strategy Magazine, we'll unravel the complexities of aerospace governance and delve into the implications for each of us drone operators. Drone laws, the feds versus the states. That's our focus. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to another installment of Drone Business Strategy Magazine. In this Drone Pilot Strategy session, we're going to talk about dissecting the dynamic interplay between federal authority and state autonomy in shaping and enforcing drone laws. Now, my good friend Greg over at Pilot Institute talks about this ad nauseum. So let's you and I discuss it today. From safety protocols to airspace management, we'll explore the regulatory maze governing unmanned aerial systems, not as legal advice, not as an absolute, but for informational purposes only, a point of discussion. Remember, it's the role of us drone pilots in command to know and to follow all the rules be they federally or locally enacted and enforced. Drone laws can be a maze of confusion. In fact, more than a few drone pilots like us are anxiously awaiting clear direction about where the legal line is drawn between federal mandates and state laws. Now, while the FAA governs aviation safety and airspace usage, states do wield authority over certain aspects of drone regulation. However, conflicts between federal and state laws often arise, underscoring the drone pilot demand for unity in drone legislation. The FAA holds sway over aviation regulations, ensuring safety and efficient airspace utilization. While states retain some regulatory authority over drones, the FAA's rules take precedence in matters of safety and airspace management. Conflict Preemption That arises when state laws intersect with federal statutes, rendering enforcement difficult, if not impossible. Even laws unrelated to safety or airspace may be invalidated if they conflict with federal rules, highlighting the supremacy of federal authority in aviation regulation. So let's talk about laws about safety or airspace use for drones. First, there's the rules governing safe operations, then the establishment of traffic control systems, prescribing flight paths, regulation of air rights, mandating drone licenses and safety training, and requiring safety equipment like geofencing. The Airline Deregulation Act of 1978 empowers the federal government to preempt state laws pertaining to airline pricing, routes, and services. Now, this preemption extends to certain commercial drone operators, ensuring consistency in interstate drone operations. State and local laws regarding drone operations may conflict with 
federal regulations for drones. These again would be rules governing safe operation, establishment of traffic control systems, prescribing flight paths, regulation of air rights, mandating drone pilot licenses, and safety training and requiring safety equipment like geofencing. States do retain autonomy over certain aspects of drone regulation. This would include rules governing restricted drone flight zones, regulations concerning law enforcement and emergency drone usage, restrictions on drone activities near sensitive areas, laws regarding drone takeoff and landing locations, regulations addressing drone interference with property rights, requirements for drone operator locations during flight, and regulations mandating drone registration. Ensuring compliance with drone regulations is a collaborative effort between the FAA and law enforcement agencies. The FAA oversees drone regulation enforcement, including penalties and license revocation, collaboration between federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies, and that ensures adherence to drone safety protocols, and public safety agencies play a crucial role in drone surveillance and education initiatives. The FAA provides resources like the Drone Responsive Playbook for Public Safety to assist law enforcement in managing unsafe drone activities. Here now are takeaway. Amidst the intricate tapestry of drone regulations, a clear understanding becomes evident. While the FAA does hold sway over aviation safety and airspace management, states do wield authority over certain aspects of drone regulation. However, conflicts between federal and state laws underscore the need for compatibility in drone legislation. As drone operators and policymakers navigate this complex regulatory landscape, adherence to safety protocols and compliance with federal mandates remain paramount. Let's all strive for synergy between federal oversight and state autonomy, ensuring the safe and responsible integration of drones into our airspace. That's a wrap for this Drone Pilot Business Strategy session, Drone Laws, the Feds versus the States. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like and subscribe for more practical drone pilot strategy tips. Have questions or suggestions for future episodes of Drone Pilot Business Strategy Magazine? Do drop them in the comments section below. Until next time, clear skies and fun flying. I'm Tony Marino. Thanks for watching and keep on droning. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you'd like to hire us, you can get more information by visiting aerialnorthwest.com. Be smart, safe, and fly responsibly.